Hello everyone and welcome to MedTwins. In this video we will discuss the steps needed to enter medical school in the UK. Later on we will make videos focus on specific parts of the application process. However, keep in mind that different unis can value different parts of the application process. For example, some unis can put a higher emphasis on the UK CAT score, while others may focus on extracurricular activities more. So for this video, we have divided the medical application process into six basic steps. The first one is volunteer work, work experience, and extracurricular activities. The second one is predicted grades. The third is the UCAT or the BMAT score. The next one is the personal statement, followed by the interview, and at last, your final grades. Also keep in mind that if you are an international student, you might be required to take English tests, such as IELTS. So let's start off by discussing volunteer work, work experience, and extracurricular activities. These are not formally tested by the university, but they are just as important as any other area of the application process, especially in medicine. The volunteer work that you did is what will most likely show your motivation to do good and help in your personal statement and on your interview. Your work experience will show that you are interested in the medical profession, as well as show that you have an idea about what you're walking to. And your extracurricular activities will show that you are well-rounded and have a stress outlet. Without these, it is very unlikely that you'll be able to get into med school. When it comes to your predicted grades, it is important to show consistency in your marks throughout the year, so that your teachers can be confident in predicting you a high score. This means that you should prepare before all lessons during, throughout the year and show your teachers that you are eager to learn and develop. After all, you are applying to uni with your predicted grades. The UCAT and the BMAT are tests which you need to do which are exclusive to medicine. We personally took the UCAT. The UCAT is divided into five areas. Verbal reasoning, which tests how well you can extract information from a text in limited amount of time. Decision making, which tests your problem solving skills as well as numerical understanding. Quantitative reasoning, which tests your ability to solve math questions in a limited amount of time. Abstract reasoning, which tests how well you can understand and identify patterns, similar to what you do in an IQ test. And also situational judgment, which tests your sense of ethics and how well you think people acted in a certain situation. The main challenge of the UCAT is not the questions themselves, it's actually the time you have to answer them, which is very short. On the other hand, the BMAT tests scientific knowledge as well as mathematics and some problem-solving skills. The test can be divided into three areas. The first one tests generic aptitudes, uh, similar to decision-making uh, in the UCAT. The second tests scientific knowledge in areas such as physics, biology, chemistry, and even some mathematics. And the third area is a written exercise where the, quantity, the quality and content of your written exam is tested. Personally, I found the UCAT the hardest part of the application process, so there will be more videos later on focused specifically on the UCAT and giving tips and tricks and explaining the test better. The personal statement gives you the opportunity to tell your university why you are suitable to become a medical student. It is where you share the skills that you've learned from your work experience, volunteer work, and extracurricular activities, and explain how these skills are important in the medical career. These experiences are also important to show insight into the medical profession and show that you have a realistic view of what medicine will be like. Your personal statement should include the reason why you want to follow a career in medicine, what have you done inside medicine? 
insight into medicine, highlighting your work experience, show instances in which you were caring, in which you were a good communicator, in which you worked in a team, where you were a leader, examples of extracurricular activities, and a powerful conclusion, among others. Keep in mind that in your personal statement, they're not only interested in what you did, but also what you learned from the situations and how that applies to the medical profession. The interviews can be tricky, so prepare as much as possible for them. Common topics that show up in interviews, both MMIs and traditional interviews, include ethics and ethical scenarios, creativity, interest in medicine, motivation to study medicine, teamwork, leadership, communication, facts about the university or why you chose that university, insight into the medical profession, work experience, insight into oneself, current medical issues, numeracy, and skills a doctor needs, such as communication, teamwork, and leadership. A separate video will be made focused only on interview, as this is an area that many people fail in. At last, if you have passed all the previous tests, you will receive an offer from your university, which states what grades you should score in your final exam in order to be accepted into that medical uni. During this time, it is important not to slack off, as you are not in uni yet. Prepare as much as you can and revise all your sixth form content so that you won't be caught off guard by a question on your exam. At last, if everything goes right, don't forget to celebrate, because securing a place in a medical university in the UK is extremely challenging. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment if you find any inaccuracies. Thank you.